What's up everyone? How are you all doing out there? I hope this video is finding you well. Welcome to another episode of Right On In. I am your host, Mr. Andrew J. Stillman, and today we are going to discuss a topic that I probably get asked more than anything when it comes to writing books. Where do ideas come from? If you saw my last update video, you will have seen that I want to wrap up September and move into October, keeping our focuses on books for just a little bit. Just in case you didn't see that video, long story short, November is National Novel Writing Month, and I am going to spend all of October getting you ready for it. I'll get into more of the freelancing stuff later, but I'm really excited to spend some time in bookland over the next couple of months because that is just my first passion. But before we get started, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and like, comment, share, and everything else in between on this video because I just love getting all that engagement from you wonderful people. You can also feel free to comment either here on my video or head on over to my blog to comment over there, which is also linked in the description box. The next couple of months, at least, are going to have me seeing you on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and a couple of random Sundays. So if you don't subscribe, make sure to come back on those days to check in and see what's up. I have also received a few compliments over the theme song that I use, as well as some of the background music and fonts and overlays and stuff like that. So as always, there is links to all of that information in the description box as well. But apart from all of that, without further ado, let's get right on in. Have you ever been in the middle of the book and then just thought, wow, where did this author get this idea? If you have, you're not alone. And if you haven't, do you even read, bro? Authors are no strangers to getting questioned as to their intent on their stories, their characters, their plot ideas, and everything else that goes into the words that string together the sentences that make up their books. However, most of the time when authors are asked where the ideas for said books came from, they give some sort of That answer isn't much help, but the truth is, it isn't as much that we don't have an answer as much as it is, where do we start? For example, if you were to ask me where I got the idea for the first book that I ever wrote, I would tell you it was a sunny day, I was walking down my hallway, and the idea just came to me. If you were to ask me about my current work in progress, I would tell you I was walking up the steepest hill in town with my dog, and the idea struck me like lightning. And just as a side note, this episode is actually getting recorded while the fires in California are raging due to that really epic lightning storm we just had. And while that's scary, I just wanted to take a moment to thank you so much for the firefighters out there fighting. And even though I have no idea what the status of any of these fires are going to be when this video comes out, I just want to thank you anyway. Especially because my dad's a retired firefighter, so support. Anyway, those kind of generic answers from authors aren't exactly helpful, but they're the truth. I can literally remember exactly where I was and exactly what I was doing for every particular book idea that has ever come to me. I was bored in chemistry class. I was driving down a tunnel. The title just came to me. The end of a series just came to me. The basement of the restaurant where I worked at. A shadow I saw in a bush that reminded me of a local legend. Those are the simplest truths to what triggered all of my specific story ideas. But since we are prepping for National Novel Writing Month here, I'm going to peel it back just another layer and I'm going to give you some inside tips on where those ideas really come from. The first one is simply spending time with yourself. And I don't mean the kind of time where you just throw some Netflix on at the end of the day and relax while you watch whatever's on the TV. I mean really, truly, deeply getting into the silence 
of your mind. You might not feel a change every time, but over time, those experiences that you have with yourself are gonna help shape your stories. Trust me, good ways of spending some time with yourself include going for a walk, specifically when you're out in nature. Perhaps you do some yoga or some meditation, or if you just find those little things that make you happy, that allow you to be with yourself at the same time, just do that. Another place to pay attention to when you're on the hunt for ideas is your dreams. Now, don't get this twisted to start thinking that I'm encouraging you to write dream sequences because that is a whole different topic that we're not even getting into today. I'm talking about the fact that dreams are the gateway to the subconscious and sometimes allowing your subconscious mind to come up with some solutions or stories or even problems for you is the easiest way for all of that to happen on its own without you having to really put any conscious thought. Of course, not everybody remembers their dreams and that's fine, but if you do, I would just say the more vivid the dream, the more you should probably consider writing it down. If you're not much of a dreamer, another option is to simply pay attention to the random bouts of euphoria that you experience in your day-to-day -day life. Write down how it happened, how it made you feel, what effect it had on your life. Even if it's something little like getting a popcorn kernel out of your teeth that's been stuck there for a few days no matter how hard you tried to floss or brush, how annoying was that popcorn kernel? How did it feel? No, really, how did the actual kernel feel when it was stuck in between the gums and teeth in your mouth? See, even random things that happen in your everyday life can give you little bouts of creative juices. Again, little situations like this over time will build up to that one penultimate idea that's just gonna come to you one day when you're sitting on the crapper. The truth, the bottom line, the biggest source of inspiration is just in the everyday life. I do actually say that with just a little bit of hesitation because then that opens up the whole conversation of people asking if they can be in your book. After you write for a while, you're going to find that, yes, people can be in your book. And they probably will be in your book, often. But it's not always a good thing. Outside of just basing your characters off of people you may or may not like, the everyday life is also great for setting building, it's great for conflict if you overhear some conversation and you want to come up with a resolution, but while you're coming up with all of these ideas, here's something that's really important for you to remember. Not every idea has to be novel length. <gasps> there is a reason that short stories, novellas, blog posts, shorter works, all of that, it's a thing because not every idea has to be a novel. The important thing is to practice the ideas that come to you. One day, an idea is just gonna come out of the blue and you're not going to have a choice but to sit down and write it. If you already have that idea, that's great, congratulations. Feels great, doesn't it? Maybe it does, and you're just curious about how to actually start it. Or maybe you do know how to start it, but you're still interested about novel development. If you fit into any of those categories, stay tuned. We are getting started with character development this Thursday. But, like I've said, October is going to be dedicated to building up your novel. Yours. If you're going to embark on this journey with me, and it's the first time that you've ever written a book, I am so excited for you. I hope you take this journey, even if it's for nothing more than just writing a book just to say you wrote a book. Writing is a lot less stressful when it's just a hobby. Trust me. If this is not your first book, I still hope you join us for some novel development and then maybe in November we can all write a book together. That is the whole point after all, isn't it? In the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, 
and everything in between. I will see you all on Thursday when we take our characters from blank screen to up and running and then we officially get started on your novel writing journey. Buckle up! <laughs>